Hi friends, welcome to free CCNA packet tracer labs for beginners. In this video, we will see how to implement VLANs and trunking using IPv6. Before coming to this lab, friends, if you wish to get these type of technical videos, consider subscribing. And also don't forget to enable the bell icon so that you will not miss any future videos. Here is our packet tracer. First of all, we will design the topology. Uh, we needed two switches, 2960 series. Consider this is S1 and this is S2. Then we needed two NG devices. Uh, we will have four NG devices. We will rename these NG devices staff PC1 and this is uh, staff PC2. Management PC1. This is management PC2. Here we can see we have uh, two VLANs. Uh, one is staff and the other, other one is management. Uh, also, we may have uh, two more VLANs, uh, maybe one VLAN for uh, unused ports and one for native VLAN. We will connect all these devices. Coming to connections, choose copper crossover to connect from S1 to S2. We will connect to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on both switches. Then choose copper straight through from S1 fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to staff PC1 fast Ethernet. From S2 fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to staff PC2. Then from S1 fast Ethernet 0 slash 7 to management PC1. Then from S2 Faster Ethernet 0 slash 7 to management PC2. This is a VLAN 15. This is also VLAN 15. This is in VLAN 25. This PC uh, is also in VLAN 25. Here we will update our VLAN table. So we have a VLAN ID 15, then VLAN name staff, and here network address we will use IPv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 15 double colon slash 64. Then port assignment in S1 and S2 FA0 slash 1 till 6. Next is VLAN 25. VLAN name is management. Then here network address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 25 double colon slash 64 port assignment s1 and s2 fa0 slash 7 till 12 we will create two more vlans uh, one for unused ports and uh, one for native Okay, for unused ports, we will have 88. We can say parking lot. Then triple eight for native. Here, network address not required. Then port assignment 
all unused ports should be assigned to this VLAN 88. That means on S1 and S2, FA0 slash 13 till 24, also G0 slash 2. Here in uh, VLAN ID 88, network address is not applicable. Then here in a native VLAN, it is triple eight. So here network address, okay, not required. Actually, we can specify it's a trunk and uh, interface on both switches S1 and S2, G0 slash one. So this is our VLAN table with the VLAN ID 15, 25, 88 and triple eight. Now we have to uh, update our addressing table. So IPv6 addressing table, uh, here we can see our topology. We have a S1, S2, then uh, four PCs. Here in device, S1, then we have S2, then staff PC1, Then we have staff PC2, management PC1, then management PC2. So these are the devices. First of all, S1, uh, interface, VLAN 25, then IPv6 address or uh, pre, uh, including prefix. Here we can see in VLAN table for VLAN ID 25 given the network address. So we can copy this address and paste here. Then we have to specify its uh, subnet. Here we will use one. This is a switch virtual interface. Then S2 interface VLAN 25 and here we will use 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 25 double colon 2 this is also svi switch virtual interface we know it's obviously for managing our switches remotely now we can see staff pc1 it's in VLAN 15 as per our VLAN table, we can see VLAN 15 staff and here is the uh, network address. So we can copy this. Then interface NIC. And here we have to give the subnet. So here we will use A. And this staff PC1 is connected to S1 F0 slash 1. Now we have a staff PC2 which is connected to S2 F0 slash 1. Uh, interface is a NIC and here we will use this uh, IPv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 15 double colon b. So this is uh, connected to S2 FS Euro slash 1. Now we have two management PCs, management PC1 and management PC2. Uh, here we have to use in this range. So I can copy this address. This is interface NIC. Then here we can uh, change the subnet part. So here we will give A. Connected to S1, FS0 slash 7. And the management PC2 interface a NIC. Then we will use 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 25 double colon b. It's connected to S2, 
ya face heroes larsen. Okay, we updated our addressing table also VLAN table. Now we will create the VLANs, then we will assign ports to the VLANs, and then finally we will assign IP address to these devices S1, S2, and the end devices. Coming back to our packet tracer, uh, first of all, we will go to S1. CLI enable configure terminal we will set the host name as s1 also we will enable ipv6 unicast routing and uh, here we can see uh, this ipv6 will not be uh, supporting in uh, switches so ip then put a question mark and here we can see it support only ip so we must enable ipv6 hdm prefer um, you know dual ipv4 ipv6 default so here we have to give sdm prefer put a question mark so here we can see uh, support both ipv4 and ipv6 so we have to give this command dual dash ipv4 dash and dash ipv6 so we have to give this command dual ipv4 and ipv6 default and here we can see we get some message changes to the running sdm preferences have been stored but cannot take effect until the next reload so use show sdm prefer to see what sdm preference is currently active so we must uh, reboot or reload our uh, switch so that uh, this command will uh, get in effect right so just exit then copy run space start then we can reload it proceed with the reload confirm okay press enter by default it will confirm in the same way we can enable in s2 also so just go to s2 cli enable configure terminal here we have to give ipv6 we have to enable sdm prefer dual ipv4 and ipv6 so we can copy and paste here default exit copy run space start then reload the switch press enter again okay right now uh, coming back to s1 and uh, here we will enable enable configure terminal then we will enable ipv6 so here we can see ip then put a question mark so that we can see we can work with the ip as well as ipv6 so here we are going to give ipv6 unicast routing so we will enable here in s2 also configure terminal here i will set the host name as s2 now we can give ipv6 unicast routing okay now we will create the vlans on both switches s1 and s2 coming to s1 VLAN 15 name staff VLAN 25 name management VLAN 88 parking lot uh, this is for uh, you know unused uh, ports then VLAN 888 name native 
we can verify it end show vlan brief and here we can see all the vlans we created next we will create in s2 vlan 15 name staff vlan 25 name management vlan 88 name parking lot VLAN triplet name native and show VLAN brief and here we can see those VLANs created now we need to assign ports to its respective VLAN so first of all we will go to S1 as per our VLAN table, configure terminal. We will go to interface as a range FA0 slash 1 dash 6. Six interfaces. Switch port to mode access. Switch port access. VLAN 15. Then we will go to interface as a range FS0 slash 7 till 12. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 25. Then we will go to all the unused ports interface as a range fs0 slash 13 till 24 also we have g0 slash 2 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 88 this is for a parking lot unused ports even we can set some description unused ports then we can shut down all these un unused ports shut down we can verify it end show vlan brief and here we can see the configuration first six ports assigned to vlan 15 then uh, fs 0 slash 7 till 12 assigned to vlan 25 and all other unused ports assigned to vlan 88 here we can see one port gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so we must uh, change it to trunk we will do that later after completing in s2 also so coming to s2 configure terminal we will go to interface as a range fs0 slash 1 dash 6 switch port to mode access switch port access vlan 15 then we'll go to interface as a range fs0 slash 7 till 12 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 25 then we will go to all the unused ports interface as a range fs0 slash 13 till 24 also g0 slash 2 switch port mode access Switch port access VLAN 88 that is parking lot. We can set the description also. Unused ports. 
then we can shut down all these unused ports shut down we can verify it show vlan brief okay Now we must change the administrative mode to trunk between S1 and S2. So it should be trunk. And here uh, we connected to G0 slash 1 on both uh, switches S1 and S2. So first of all, we will go to S1. Configure terminal. We will go to interface G0 slash 1 which is connected to S2. We will give a description. Connected to S2. G0 slash 1. Switch port to mode trunk. Also we will set an AT VLAN. Switch port trunk native vlan triplet okay also we can give the allowed vlan switch port trunk so whenever you get this uh, mismatch uh, message we can press tab button from the keyboard okay so switch port trunk allowed VLAN. So we must allow uh, 15, 25, triple eight. That is a native VLAN. Okay, switch port trunk. It's a trunk. Perfect end copy run space start we will go to s2 and here also we can see that native vlan mismatch uh, we have to configure um, native vlan in this uh, switch s2 also configure terminal so uh, due to a uh, dtp uh, this interface g0 slash 1 become um, you know trunking uh, auto that is called auto negotiation so here um, forcefully we will uh, uh, change it to trunk so we'll we need to go to interface uh, g0 slash 1 so whenever you get this uh, uh, message in between uh, you can press tab button from the keyboard interface g0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk also we need to give a switch port trunk native vlan triple eight now we can see and blocking the gigabit ethernet zero slash one on this port consistency restore okay also we have to give a switch port trunk allowed vlan 15 comma 25 comma triple eight end copy run space start we can verify the configurations show interfaces trunk here we can see this port gigabit ethernet zero slash one is a trunking and its mode is on so manually uh, we configured trunk then native vlan triple eight also we can see this uh, vlans allowed and active in management domain only 15 25 and triple eight we can verify in s1 also show interfaces trunk gigabit ethernet zero slash one is uh, trunking with the native vlan triple eight and also we can see uh, a lot of vlans here 
Now we will assign IPv6 address to these devices. First of all, we will go to uh, switches in S1. Configure terminal. We will go to interface VLAN 25. Okay, interface VLAN 25 now uh, up. Now we can set IPv6 address as per our addressing table 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 25 double colon 1 slash 64. Okay, so we can end copy run space start same way go to s2 configure terminal interface vlan 25 okay we will set ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 25 double colon 2 slash 64 perfect end copy run space start we will set ipv6 address to these end devices we will start from staff pc1 go to desktop IP configuration and here we can see IPv6 configuration. We will set IPv6 address to 001 colon db8 colon acad colon 15 double colon a. Just I will copy this address slash 64. A default gateway not required. So we have to give uh, when we implement router on a stick inter VLAN routing or uh, layer 3 uh, inter VLAN routing. Then coming to staff PC2 desktop IP configuration in IPv6 address we will give a 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 15 double colon b slash 64. Then coming to management PC1, IPv6 address 2001 colon, DB8 colon ACAD colon 25 double colon A. Just I will copy this IPv6 address slash 64. Then coming to management PC2. IPv6 address, paste it and change to B slash 64. Finally, we are going to test the connectivity. So here uh, we will be able to uh, ping from the same VLAN. That means from staff PC1 to staff PC2. Then we can ping from management PC1 to management PC2. So we will go to staff PC1, command prompt, ping to staff PC2, 2001 colon, db8 colon, acad colon 15, double colon b. And here we can see we get the replies. Just I will copy this. Then coming to management dash PC1, it can communicate to management dash PC2. So here we have to change it to 25 double colon B and we can see we get the replies. Perfect. In this video, we created the VLANs, then we assigned ports to its respective VLANs. Also, we assigned IPv6 address to all the devices. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, 
any suggestions regarding this activity please comment below or even you can contact our team all the details are given in the description box stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you